This week's episode showcases the Nedbank Sports Trust Development Cyclists, who had recently participated in the Youth Day event in Cape Town, as well as Youth Festival hosted in Oatswern. The emphasis of these events is on team and mass participation, which provides an opportunity for provinces to identify talent and assist with development and transformational goals. The Nedbank Sports Trust Development Cycling Program has been going since 2005. And today, we're at the Killarney Racetrack, where it is bitterly cold, windy, so the racing is very tactical in the wind, it's competitive and fierce as they're all racing to gain selection for the upcoming Oswan Youth Festival. At the moment, the under-19s are racing and it's very competitive year as well. The Oswan Youth Festival is an annual cycling event held in Oswan. It embraces all cycling for the under-19s from crit cycling on day one, day two we have road cycling as well as team time trials and then on Thursday, the third day, we have mountain biking. This includes circuit racing as well as a bit of out riding as well. This event has been going on for many years in the institution and it's the one event where the youth actually bond, make friends, learn from one another and some of our South African champions that are today racing overseas actually started their careers here in Oton. Today we're at Highgate Ostrich Farm, the venue for the road cycling event today. What an awesome day it's turned out to be. Plenty of spectators, plenty of ostriches to watch the event. And at the same time being here, the young cyclists can spend time learning about the ostriches, interacting about the ostriches. So it leads on about enhancing education through sport. All the teams are taking part today from the Winelands, from Eden, from Cape Metropole, from uh, West Coast Cycling Federation. So all the team is here and there's a lot of competition today. The road race today is the highlight of the three-day event. Obviously that's where the youngsters can show their skills, work out in the hills, and uh, it's very much a climber's route today. So a lot of interesting, a lot of tactical cycling will take place today. This afternoon we're gonna have the team time trial. That is where six cyclists from each team will take part and um, we'll see what happens there. I've been taking part for in Pumalanga events, as I and it's been a great experience. I've been in Joburg for some races. Uh, it's quite good. And uh, last year I was here, and stage one I got second place. So it was good, uh, but hard. You must be consistent to your work. Yeah, uh, the tactics was a bit tricky. Uh, we started up fresh, but I was working uh, to cover the, cover the breakaways. So I can get my uh, teammate to the breakaway. Yeah, uh, the road was fine, was good, and it was hilly. I'm seeing myself going forward, uh, becoming a pro, and getting uh, all the equipment I want to make the best of it. This festival is uh, it's actually a nice festival um, because uh, we get to know each other. The guys from um, Cape Metro, the guys from uh, um, Cape Winelands and Eden, we, can, we get to know each other and we come here as a, a family from um, Cape Metro. Um, we have different teams, but here we, can, we come as one team, so we have to work together as one team. Um, the route was um, tough. It was more of a, a climber's route. I mean, I'm also a, a climber, and that's why um, we were in the breakaway. It was only the climbers on the breakaway, so that's why I managed to be, to be on the break and I uh, managed to take third place. I see myself one day um, in the pro continental, pro world team one day. Um, I wish to ride the Tour de France, the Giro d'Italia, the tours that side um, overseas. Uh, I would like to go there one day. Yeah, I would like to be a pro, that's my dream. Today being the third day of the Oswan Youth Festival, 
We're here at the Oval Track in Oatshorn, a very safe environment where the kids were able to cycle on the track, as well as giving them a mountain bike experience out through the bush, the Fane Bors, and um, lots of rock, lots of challenging technical areas as well. You know, this is one of our major big events that's, it's just a heartwarming event, and it's the 14th year that it's um, happening. And you know, for our youngsters, it's just wonderful to get them out of the uh, communities that's not always very nice, you know. And I say it's the, it is the good gangs and it's the cycling gangs and they're just so wonderful. You know, out of this um, Deborah Lippen pro uh, programs is Nicholas Lamini and the uh, one guy, uh, Meiren, that's, that's at, um, in France now. He's also from Oetswoorden and they started here at a very young age. So it's just wonderful what this does for our um, Western Cape and for our cycling community and for the sporting community. There's a, a young guy, um, Raiden, he said he wants to do this, the tourism section and he wants to tell everybody about the history of Oetswoorden. So uh, we started through the museum and the Heisel Jonker and with Dave Bell Air helped us with some bikes. And so all the tourists can cycle through Oetswoorden now. And that's a wonderful way to keep fit as well. It is really important and it's also a job creation and it's an opportunity. And, and I always say to the young, dream big. As you dream, you don't bang, make it really great enough. So, and you know, it's it's just a, a heart, as I say, a heartwarming feeling, and it's an opportunity, and it's hope. It creates hope for our communities. Yes, there's actually a lot of things going on in our province regarding cycling and all the facets of cycling and all the different disciplines of cycling. From our side, we are really supported financially, uh, quite a lot, um, maybe, yeah. And um, what, uh, regarding this very event here, uh, it's very important to us, not only from a cycling viewpoint, but from cycling tourism or sport tourism. That's the thing that we really support, is a tourism as well. And in this region, is you can regard this as mainly a hub for cycling in our province doing very good there are lots of other huge cycling events in our province as you know Cape Town Cycle, APSA but they're more private uh, but this is for a small town very important throughout our province uh, that is happening um, I've mentioned the APSA EPIC which is which is huge we, we support them very little uh, so they go out big but every single town in our province has got some kind of a cycling event going on um, all over the province. So there's a lot of skills development, there's a lot of taking part in sport, which is very important to us, and then the whole tourism thing, especially to the small little towns in our province. Cape Town, the mother city, and the Cape Metropole, they already get a lot of influx right, for sport tourism. For instance, the German international cycling team is training there, uh, just uh, as one I mentioned. But especially in the rural areas, uh, there's a lot going on regarding sport and supporting the local community in sport tourism. Because every cyclist that's coming here has got either both parents, maybe his grandparents as well, a little brother, little sister, and they stay here for three, four days. First of all, we must thank Cycling South Africa to give us the honor and the privilege to host this kind of events each and every year for talent identification, transformation and development. Oetsering uh, municipality, the Oetsering municipal traffic, the provincial traffic, and then most important, Department of Culture, Affairs and Sport. Our minister is also here today, Minister Andrew Marie, and we thank her for all her hard work and dedication behind the scenes to make this kind of events possible for us. And thank you very much again for the Eden Sports Council. They are involved, the, the, the community, all the uh, Eden Cycling, Western Cape Cycling, they're buying in in this, this kind of events. Ons is the innerste sport code, but hierdie type events na die community te vat. Ons vader is vallen, laat die toeschouwers kan sien waar oor fiets rij gaan. Die kinderkies wat op die straat is, dat ek kan sien, hulle klaasmaakies rij self fiets. En dit is waar ons die eerste dag ons, ons krit gedoen het in die community self, in die hart van ons community. Tweede dag, soos jy sê, het ons uitgegaan op die volmoed, 
paar daar buiten bij je Highgate Ostrich Farm. Dit was absoluut briljant. En vandaag is ons die boer bij die Oval Track, waar die Stokkaar gemeenschap ons weer accommodeer en help dat ons op hulle baan een safe environment kan deelneem. So baie baie dankie ons waardeer het oprecht vir alles wat jylle in die sporttrust ook doen vir fietsrui. Sonne, dit is het nie moeilijk om al hierdie goed te doen nie. So ons sê vir jylle baie dankie uit die diepte van ons harte. Mountain bike, yo, it's always the best. Mountain bike is my sport that I usually do and this is the first time I've podium so far. We finished fourth in the team tile. But next time I'm gonna get that silver and then next time Go, definitely. I'm going to work on that now. I know who my opponents are, I know what their strengths are, their weaknesses. So I just have to work on my um, strength, on my strength output again. Thank you, thank you, sports dress. I really enjoyed that I can be here. Thank you. The week has been absolutely awesome. We've seen strong riders, we've seen riders that have uh, come through from East London, from the SA Junior Cycling Champs. We've seen cyclists that are new into cycling. And for everyone that has taken part over the last three days, it's been an absolutely wonderful experience. They've made friends, they've learned different techniques, and their hearts are full of cycling going forward. So to Eden Cycling, Western Cape Cycling, we say thank you for what you've put on for the development cyclists of the Western Cape over the last three days. The Sports Trust is a non-profit organization and acts as an implementation partner on behalf of their trustees and corporate donors in support of sport development in South Africa and wishes to thank their trustees and partners for continuing to enhance education through sport. The Picketburg Mountain Bike Challenge takes place at Orgderak Organic Wine Estate on Saturday the 14th of October 2023. Distances of 60 km, 40 and 25 km will be offered and a 5 km fun run. All cyclists and runners are welcome. For more information email training at sportstrust.co.za it's World Cup fever, and the Sports Trust is hosting their fundraising corporate quiz event on the 26th of October. Enter your teams, dress up as your favorite sports team, and enjoy a fun evening whilst raising funds to help tomorrow's sports heroes today. Calling all amateur golfers, it's your chance to play like a pro at this year's Sports Trust Golf Challenge taking place at Sun City Gary Player Country Club the day after the NetBank Golf Challenge. For more information, visit our website thesportstrust.co.za.